Now call me crazy, but is it just a coincidence that the day after I make a video calling Infinite Ward Sucky, they go and make a video showing us the new map pack that's going to be coming on April 3rd, Devastation. What a sick name for a map pack, I mean Infinity Ward are trying to get themselves back in my good books it seems, because this map pack seems really really good. The trailer looks promising and don't even get me started about the Ripper. The Ripper is an amazing weapon, it works really really well, I do enjoy it so far. In this video I'm not going to bash on Infinity Ward but what I am going to do, we're going to see whether this Devastation DLC is going to be a sucky one, just from the trailer that we've seen and from what we've heard about the DLC. But anyways, hey how's it going guys, it's Kosh and welcome to another Quality Ghost video. I've got a normal gameplay slash commentary for you guys right now. You guys have been watching some Ripper gameplay on Prison Break. And you know what, I was playing TDM once more, mainly because it's the only game mode I do enjoy on this game. I didn't really sit back a lot, I rushed a little bit in this gameplay, so you guys should actually enjoy it. Now the Ripper is absolutely amazing, Let, let's focus on that at first. Now the Ripper looks like a really good weapon, as you guys know, it starts off as an SMG and then you can switch it into an assault rifle just by flipping up the scope. <laughs> That's a very very crazy idea, well done Infinity Ward, you guys deserve a clap for the idea because that's the first Call of Duty game to ever have an idea like that and actually work it out properly. I mean to be honest they tried it with the Maverick, the Maverick was an assault rifle and then you had the sniper one of it as well and that was just weird because the sniper rifle version was pretty crap. But you know what, so far Devastation DLC looks like one that I am looking forward to, the trailer really excited me and for the first First time in ages, I'm actually excited for something to be coming in Call of Duty Ghost. I'm actually looking forward to it. I mean, am I crazy? I mean, seriously, I'm never excited for anything in Call of Duty Ghost. I don't, I don't hate the game. Trust me, guys. I said this in my last video. I don't hate the game. What I do hate, though, is how they don't care about the community and how they don't really take into what we say and try and fix the stuff that don't work. But anyways, back onto the Ripper. Don't let me move off topic. And there's one thing I don't like that they did about the Ripper. The Ripper is an amazing weapon. And right now, it works like an OP gun. And to be honest, it's not fair that Season Pass players get it early. I mean, true, yeah, that's right. You bought the Season Pass. Goody, goody for you. I mean, I'm not complaining. I really like the Ripper. It's doing very well for me. I'm beasting out in gameplays. I'm beating the enemies like 1, 2, 3, A, B, C. But that's not the point. I think it's quite unfair to everybody else who doesn't have the Season Pass and they're meeting players who have the Ripper and their class up. I mean, think about it this way, you have a group of friends and you guys all have season pass. So you guys all get the Ripper early and you go as a 5 man party into a lobby and meet a ton of players who don't have season pass so therefore they don't have the Ripper. So instantly it's an unfair advantage for them because they don't have the advantage over you, you clearly have the advantage over them because the Ripper is an OP weapon. I mean trust me you must be a really really bad player if you have the Ripper as a class up and then you end up doing really really bad in the game. You must be using this weapon because if you're using it as an SMG it's got immense fire rate so you're killing people really really fast and if you're using an assault rifle it's got good range and good damage so therefore you're killing people really really fast as well. So trust me guys this this weapon is really really good and for you guys asking for a class swap don't worry that will be coming very very soon I've got some ideas in mind for you guys but you know what apart from that now let's talk about the devastation trailer as a whole and what you guys can expect from it so I watched the trailer and I thought to myself this looks pretty exciting you know the maps look really really good small to medium based which I just think is it's a scam from an infinity award you guys are scammers you are scamming everybody because the start of the game with very very big maps I mean I can literally count the amount of small maps in this game we have freight we have we have Warhawk, we have Strike Zone, and we have Tremor. Those are the only small to medium map in this game so far, apart from the Onslaught DLC, which I'm not counting. But the game started off with only four small maps. That is so annoying because now they're trying to force people into buying the DLCs which will contain small to medium based maps. And you know what guys, everybody loves to play in small to medium based maps apart from if you're a camper which which you love to play in those huge maps so you can camp at the back of the flipping spawns. Apart from that, everybody loves to play on small to medium based maps. And that's why they're bringing out all these DLCs with what we want because they know we'll be forced into buying it. But anyways, Devastation has some good maps, you know, you've got Ruined, you've got Behemoth, you've got Uncharted, you've got Collision, all these maps look really, really good, I'm really excited for them. But you know what, the one thing I didn't like again is the fact that they've brought back a map from Modern Warfare 3. Come on Infinity Ward, nobody wants to see old maps just remade, nobody. I mean, unless you're one of these people who like, went absolutely ham on Dome, that's the only thing you would want to see back in this game. Now I'm pretty sure Collision is the map that is a remake of Dome, I'm not really sure, I didn't really watch the trailer that properly, I didn't really take it in depth, but 
I don't want to see a remake of Dome in 1 over 3. I didn't even like Dome that much. It was one of those maps where if you weren't a very good player, you were definitely getting spawn trapped by the enemy team if they're playing a party of 6 and you would just get trashed for the whole game. So to be honest, I really don't want to see a remake of Dome. I really just want to see brand new maps that aren't already old maps in a whole Call of Duty. But anyways, let me know what you guys think of the new map pack coming in Call of Duty Coast Devastation on April 3rd. If you guys think it's going to good, if you guys think it's going to suck, let me know in the comments below. I personally think it's going to be a good map pack. I don't think it's going to suck that much. Anyways, let's wait and see. If you guys enjoyed the video, please remember to drop a like rating. Enjoy the rip of your season pass. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.